What's up, everybody? So, today I'm about tackling another project. Um, installing the amplifier on the 2016 Fusion, second gen. Uh, I know a lot of people are having problems installing the amplifier speakers and all that good stuff. Uh, pick up my boy Ethan. <laughs> you see? Well, I guess if y'all see him on that. Um, but yeah, you know what I'm um, probably installing the speakers in the second gen uh, fusion and amplifiers. So, kind of narrow it down and making this video for y'all. You know, installing the amplifier, whether you're doing four channel and a uh, mono block, mono block, uh, Subwoofer so, amp. So in this case, for my vehicle, I'm doing both a four channel and a mono block for my subwoofer. And um, other than that, we're gonna get into it. Um, first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna uh, probably do this in a couple of stages or a couple of steps. So this first attack is uh, as far as finding the entryway for the power source, which is from the battery to the trunk, wherever you're installing the axe at. So. Other than that, let's jump into it. All right, so the entry point from the battery into the vehicle. Um, I know I've seen a lot of videos saying that you can enter through here, run the cable back over here to the battery. Me, I don't like that option for real, for real, because you got too many obstacles as far as AC pipes, um, your coolant for your vehicle, and other pipes you know that that draws heat so i found another way where you can actually go behind the battery on the driver's side under the uh, the dashboard which is uh you have to take the battery out and it's another rubber garment entry where a whole bunch of wires go through and um, you can enter through there so i'm going to take the battery out and let me show you all right, so I'm about to me an eight millimeter socket to take the battery bracket off. So, in here, I'm gonna loosen it. battery bracket. And the thing we want to use this one power. This is, should be a 10 millimeter. Okay. So I'm take the positive off. Take the negative off. So I think this also is a 10 millimeter. So now, if we can take the battery off, I mean, take the negative off the terminal, set that to the side, and then pull the battery up. So now since we removed the battery, our entry point is going to be 
back up behind the brake. Um, I want to say distribution block. I don't know if y'all can see it, but that rubber Garmin that's in the back is going to be our entry point. So I'm going to show you on the inside, on the other side where it comes out at, or in, however you want to say. So um, another tip is to make sure you got like a fishing cable or some type, which is like I have right here, the white wire. You can fish it back and forth. Now I'm going on the inside and show you where it comes out at. All right, so we're inside the vehicle. And if you look up in your dash, right here, that's where it comes in at. Behind all this fluff. So, what you want to do is have some type of, um, like I said, cable run in and out, which is my feeder cables right here. This white cable on the other side. So, right here where the fluff is at, this is where it comes in behind that, uh, that brake distribution block I was saying. So, let's go ahead and uh, tape up some wire and pull it through. Alright, so. After I had and showed y'all the entry point from the battery into the car. Um okay, go glass off her. Uh we're gonna go ahead and uh disassemble the fuse from our four gauge wire. By the way, I'm running four gauge wire, so gonna slide this back. Um I can wiggle it out. Probably can't be yeah, wiggle it out. Oh, oh. Oh. So we can take the fuse holder out. We'll take the wire out the fuse holder. Wire installed. All right, so we got the four gauge rolled out with the remote wire. Get back to the terminals. Remote wire and a four gauge uh, twelve volt directly from the battery. So we go ahead, go ahead for the driver dash. Use our fish cable to pull it through through the rubber boot so we can have it at the battery. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll see you on the other side. All right, so go ahead and grab the tape. Move on this fish wire. Pull it through. So, Alright, so we have a fish cable. Let's get this out. So, go ahead. Yeah. Push it around the cable. Electrical tape around it. Take care of 
Let's take one out. Um, take the back in. Take this up too. Got that done. Got a cable looking like that. Ready to go through the dash. So let's go ahead and get it pulled. Alright, so let's get it in, get ready to pull it through. I take my fish cable off this hook right here. Is it? it should be right here. Yep, I see her. She's right there. So, got the other side of our metro source cable for the 12 volt. So you want to drop it under that, uh, that brake cylinder, actual ones. All right, so I'm just gonna cut it back here real quick so I can uh, actually, yeah. So what we're gonna do is drop it behind the, uh, the brake distribution lock real quick. Let me try to fish that around. Alright. Alright, so I finally got it. So here's around these pipes. And the ABS distribution blockies. Take this. Actually, Wait, since you threw it in, a battery mount. up it has been done so basically ran it through a little firewall garment that I showed you only for the dash over top of the uh, distribution block for the ABS under the battery mount it's right there because your positive is going to be on the side um, so let's go back in the car so we're back in the car. We look up here. That's what's running through it. I can see it through the wool. Through the rubber garment. Behind that uh that uh that brake uh distribution block for the ABS. 
So we got the cable in as far as the power source. So we're gonna go ahead, pop these panels off in the uh, hood latch, which is right there. And uh, start tucking this wire into the carpet and run it back. Side the undercarriage dash part panel off, the side panel off, which is this one. And uh, pull this out, then the bottom part should come out too. So, see that we got room, so we went back behind here. And that's gonna pull this carpet pin out, okay, and right behind there. So let's get to running. Alright, so I think we wanna run the power source cable behind here. That's when I bought my car. They actually had a GPS system in here, so that's good to know. They actually didn't want to activate it. Hmm. But we ain't talking about that right now. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and screw this real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and get a roll on. I don't know what these wires are right here. It might be my turn signal wires or brake light wires, actually. That's interesting. Hmm. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these sent through. Let's drop behind here. Dash. Actually, what I want to do is put it in there. So let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and tuck it in there real quick. All right, everyone. So I'm back. Uh, I got it tucked in right here. Coming down with the rest of the wire harnesses. Um, whatever that one's twisting and going to, I think I'm just going to run it in between this little structural beam right there. On through. Keep it going. So, let's go ahead and run that through. And uh, kick up these other panels and put it in the trunk. All right, so I ran through the channel with the driver's seat hat. So, 
we we'll keep these panels up right here and uh we we'll get it in the back all right so we have the rear door um i'm gonna push the cable back this way in the here and behind the seat um so first panel we want to pull up is this one where the seat is at Second part we want to pull up is this panel. Put our hand behind here. Push it forward. So that way disconnect. Um, should, should be able to pull it up actually, which is cool. We gotta get this cutting part up. Man, I ain't gonna hurt it. Actually, all right. Hmm. All right. So we have another one down here. Come on. The whole thing is removed. So we have open access to the floor. Do an inspection. It's okay, so we can run it straight back with these. Um, yep. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off right there, and we're gonna run it back. All right. So that tab that was sitting right there I actually popped it up with my finger. So it wasn't hard. Go ahead, stuff this cable down in there, run it back. Uh, let's see. Okay, cool. Easy access. Get right around the seatbelt harness. Like so. Let's go ahead and throw this wire back here into the next door. WD-40 on it. So, go ahead and peel this back. So, we're going to have to unbolt this bracket in order to fit the floor up. So, we go ahead and grab the tools real quick and uh, take it apart. All right, so I'm going to take this off. This is a 10 millimeter. Well, actually, both of them is a 10 millimeter. So I'm going to go ahead and bolt that one. We should be able to pull it up. You got to put some extra strength on that one. All right, so should come up right here. God damn it. Alright, there we go. So I should be able to flip the floor up like that. So we can put the rest of it. Put the rest of it in here. Tuck that down some more. I don't like the how that feels. So, got it right there. So I'm gonna go back up front and go tuck it down some more. Um, okay. This is how the wire tucks in. I wish I wrote my seat up, but disconnected the battery, so. So I'll tuck it 
tucked it in like that. The rest of those wires. That's why I'm probably gonna say you shouldn't have done it. But hey. Tuck it up like that. Good. Um, probably right on, on the phone in the back. That way when we put our panels back on, we won't have no type of obstructions or whatever. So let's go ahead and uh, move back up to the front. Make sure that we all good. Should be okay all right so let's go ahead and pop these panels back on and uh figure out the rest i need for the seat all right so we got the wire from the front uh where the driver's side is at to the back uh passenger behind the driver so go ahead and pop the panels back on so first one i'm gonna pop on is a little kick panel one you gotta put it back kind of like in you know in order. So I'm go ahead and pop this one in. Kick panel on one. So snaps back in like so. Actually let's pop this back out and put the rubber door seal back on. Pardon me. That. Next is snap this in like so. Put the rubber guard in the bottom. Click back in. Now I'm going to pull the rubber boot back out. Like that. Second, part, second piece we're going to put in is this other trim on the side. Put that in. Things in the way. There you go. Clip this to chuck it back in. Right. Put that back up here. Clip that in. And then put a finger up like that. Push it down. Get all clipped in. Third part we're gonna put in is the side panel, the dashboard. This is this piece. I might go in like that. Just snaps in. All good. So of course, clip the bottom of the dashboard back in. Boom, we're done. I don't know how to do this hook latch, but there we go. So we got all that back together. Um, we're gonna lay this down. For the side trim one, we're not gonna put on yet because we still ain't got the other ones on. But technically, I guess we can't put the side panel back on because that middle piece comes up first. But yeah, let's go ahead and do that. The side one. Move your back some. All right, so we'll put the side piece back on, like so. Like so, 
other part in. front screw in. Alright. Got that. I'm going to put the nut washer back in. Like so. Oh, so you can hang tight it and then you gotta put nothing on it. So that's in. Pull this part back. Alright. So put that in. And then the white piece is that. And pull the other seal out. So be folded in. Here, we're gonna uh, finish running that underneath the seat up into the trunk. Which is, that should be hard. You should be able to ride around that and push it straight up to the uh, back of, of the seat cushion. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so we got the front panels back on. The side one. Um, I'm gonna show you how it looks. Tucked on for the days. Get a power wire. Let's get some light on your feet. So we got the power wire running straight through there. Into the engine bay. Back to the floor. Um, that's pretty much it. Go ahead and slam the battery in. Um, then we're going to finish up as far as running run the wire from under the back seat to the uh, trunk. So that wire, the source wire, we're not going to juice up yet. Um, we're going to leave it how it is um, until we put the amp back there and finish uh, getting that sound source as far as wiring the amp for the speakers and pulling the source from the radio to the amplifier. So. Like I said, this video um, is basically starting out the, uh, as far as running the power. So this is the first attack as far as installing the amps in here. So um, let's go ahead and lock the battery in and finish up. All right, so let's go ahead and slam this battery back in. So let's fit it back in like so. First, first connector we need to lock back in is the negative. Because once we slide the battery back in, we ain't gonna be able to get to it. Like so. Ten milli. Lock the battery back down. Good, so let's 
Let's go ahead and slide the battery back to where we see the bracket post. Drop that down up in there. I'll show you where the bracket go. Bracket pretty much go right there. Knock that back down. I think that's a eight millimeter. Yeah, eight millimeter. So I mean, it. So we shouldn't have to take the battery back out for any type of reason. Next time we deal with the battery, as far as when we juice it up everything. For the amp. So I'm gonna tighten this down. Positive for the car. All right, so the car is going through a cycle. This, I'm just gonna pull back over here. Tuck it. Put it on. Come back to it. It'll be ready for us. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and uh, finish tightening up with the rear door. All right, so couldn't run any for this plastic part for some odd reason. So what I did is ran around it um, under the seat behind there. Um, behind the seat. And that's it. I'm going to leave it right there. And that. I'm going to button this back up like so. Power back on. Like this. Alright, so we're gonna snap that in. Snap that back in. That's it. Pull the rubber part out. I don't know. I don't like how that fit. I need to put the seat. Let's see if I can find a guy to pull the seat up. Uh, yeah, trying to run underneath for this, so look like a perfect install. That one. So 
other than that, like I said, this is the first attack. Um, then I was getting the wire in as far as the power source of the vehicle. From the battery back to the uh, to the trunk for the amp. So other than that, um, give me a thumbs up if this was a useful uh, video for y'all. Uh, click subscribe. Make sure you do that for my upcoming videos. And uh, until then, peace.